Saluton, and welcome to Esperanto Explained. Today, we'll be talking about correlatives and the accusative. Your correlatives are your tabelvortoi, your table words, kiyo, kiyu, kie, kia, and so on. And sometimes, you'll need to use these with the accusative. But when? When can you do that, and when should you not? So, that's what we're talking about today. The short answer is, any of the accusatives that end with a vowel can sometimes get the accusative. Kiyo and kiyu might sometimes act as the object of your sentence. Technically, kiyo is the one that is a noun, and kiyu is an adjective that's describing tiyu homo, tiyu person. So you can use kiyo as an accusative in the same way you can use any noun as accusative. Kiyu and kia both work as adjectives. They describe a noun. Sometimes with kiyu, we leave the noun to be understood by the context, but either way, you still need to put the adjectives into the accusative if you are putting their noun into the accusative. So if I'm asking you, which apple did you eat? I will say, kiyun pomon vimangis. I have to have pomo in the accusative because it is the object of your eating. You ate it. But because pomo is accusative, kiyu has to be accusative. Uh, kie might sometimes get the accusative, or tie, if, as we've discussed in a previous video, if it is showing movement to there. Where are you going shows movement to where. So I would say kien vi iras. And you have to add that directional accusative in at the end of it. Sometimes it will happen that you want to put the accusative on something else like kiom or tiom. I ate that many apples is still, though, me mangis tiom da pomoi. None of those words end up taking the accusative because we do not add the accusative n to the end of our correlatives that do not end with a vowel. So tiom cannot have the accusative. And then because there is a preposition, da, and da pomoi is a prepositional phrase, Pomoi also does not get the accusative. We only use the accusative at the end of correlatives that end with a vowel.